Hi, I'm John Frazier with the Polaris Travel Experts YouTube channel, and we have a special treat for you today. As part of our Live on Location series, we're going to do something unique. We're actually going to have an interview with one of the most important people on board, our cruise director, Cookie. Hey, everyone. How you doing? Welcome aboard. Cookie is with Carnival, and you always see the cruise directors on board running around, <laughs> keeping the party going, getting the party yes. going. I've seen you in action. You are amazing. Thank you. Thank um, you so much. Oh, my gosh. You had that whole crowd last night at the Mardi Gras, Mardi Gras party just going crazy. So you see them having fun, but we wanted to give you a little bit about Cookie mm. and what he's like and kind of interview him and let you know about your cruise director. Bring it on. So the first question is an obvious one. What made you want to become a cruise director? That's crazy. Um, I, to be honest with you, I never wanted to be a cruise director, to be honest. I actually took this job with Carnival um, to become part of the singing and dancing cast. Uh, but for some reason, it's really hard to lose weight on a cruise ship. Um, my sister works for Disney Cruise Line as well. Uh, she was Princess Tiana. Um, so she told me to actually go to apply for her over there at Disney, but they were full. So the uh, agency forwarded my resume to Carnival, and I came in as Fun Squad uh, just to get my foot in the door. Um, so I figured I would just, you know, get through that contract and then become a singer and dancer. Um, it never happened. But uh, I tell you, Carnival is definitely good on believing in us here. Um, so they gave me a curveball and told me to just try for a cruise director. And what was supposed to be one summer back in 2014 is now eight years later going on. So yeah. So, we are on Mardi Gras today. What ship were you on before? Currently on the Car okay. Carnival Breeze. So my ship is in dry dock, as we would say. It's getting a facelift. And uh, so they sent me over here to uh, learn the Excel class. And I tell you, this is no joke over here. This is the big daddy of all big daddies. Yeah, it's awesome. And do I understand correctly, you were, you'd never been on a cruise until you started this job? First day ever. I literally lost my passport. <laughs> <laughs> I almost missed my flight. It was a whole day for me. But uh, I tell you, I, I survived. And yeah, my first cruise was my first day I clocked in. Yeah. Wow. Were you nervous that you were going to not like it or be? I never, I yeah. Know, I, you know, you saw the commercials growing up and Carnival commercials and everyone. But, you know, I was like, oh, you yeah. know. But being in it, it was a whole different ball game. Different ball game for sure. You know, I had my nerves going up and down all day long. Um, I'll never forget my first trivia. They gave me a microphone and a paper, and they said, "Good luck." And I was like, "What, what am I doing?" Like, and they opened the curtains, and there was a crowd full of people, and I was just shaking the whole time. Like, but I made it. I survived. So yeah. And I bet you did fantastic. Uh, yeah, you killed it. You know, I was. I was, I was <laughs> we got there. We got there. We got there. Uh, real name or is it your cruise director stage name um, and you don't we don't want to we don't want to get too personal here no, if you don't want to oh, cookie is my real my, or my real name my mom likes pastry so my sister name is cupcake um, no I'm just kidding my real name is Jonathan um, cookie came about because uh, my best friend Sonny from England hi Sonny um, he and I were inseparable when we used to be on the fun squad so the guests used to call us cookies and cream and uh, we ran with that, and here I am with cookies. So yeah, thanks, Sunny, for that one. So, yeah. What's your favorite part about being a cruise director? Ooh, um, the fact that we have a platform to change everyone's lives. Like, we can take them out of an element of whatever they're dealing with at home. They come here, and we have the power and control to change whatever it is they're dealing with and make them forget about everything just by having fun. And I love that. I love taking people out of that element and saying, oh, don't worry about all that. Just come here and have fun. So one of the things I've noticed about you is like not only do you bring the fun and you're really good at that. I mean, Thank these you. the parties I've been to have been amazing. Everyone's having a great time. But you seem to use your powers as a cruise director for good. So, you know, last night at the at the Mardi Gras party, the teens were they still had all that energy at the end. They were chanting one more song, one more song and you handled it beautifully, but from a parent's perspective, I loved what you did with it too. You you got him that one last song, but you even encouraged him. You said, "Well, I'll only do it if you raise your right hand and you say I'm going to help with the dishes and I'm going to tell my mom and dad I love you." And you even say that on your in the mornings when mm -hmm. when you're addressing everybody, you tell the whole ship, you know, "I love you. There's nothing you can do about right. it." And uh, I just think that's great because you have such that positive message, and so many people are looking up to you, and you're spreading that positivity around. Um, 
2020 was a rough year for everyone. Um, 2021 was even rougher. Now that we're back in it, you you come out of that storm of pandemic life, and you realize how grateful you should be and for those you have around you. Um, we are firm believers here at Carnival. You're not guests. You're family. So I treat everyone like family. Last night at that party, those are all my little brothers and sisters. You can hang out only if you promise. You know, um, you know, you try to just spread love. And I think that's what's going to bring us all closer. Just what I tell y'all every day. I love you. Um, and there's nothing you can do about it. Uh, and it just, it, that little phrase alone can change somebody's entire day, week, vacation, just by hearing that. So I, that's, that's the platform I love. And that's what I love about this job. So, And, yeah. and I, I see people giving that back to you. Do yes. you notice that a lot? When yes. And you know what? We love it because we don't get to see our families for almost six to nine months a year. And then when we do get to see our family, it's only for about a month, two months at home so it's we, we 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 lack being home with our moms and our dads and our sisters and our brothers so when we do get here y'all give us that love like we receive it all like it's a beautiful thing it's a beautiful thing to have so it's like a one big family when everybody comes on board i don't care if you're crew if you're guests like everyone takes care of everyone around here and that's the beautiful part about this ship life well and and we've noticed that too my, my wife was commenting on that today she's like i love i love the ship and she's like i love it but i love the atmosphere and the environment because everyone is so friendly and not just you know the staff but the the people who we're walking around with and that's not always you the case forget about everything you're dealing with because of that that environment like you literally you could be dealing with whatever it is at work or your boss being on your back or you know your school is a little rough right now but when you get here and you're in this environment you forget about everything and then you go home in that situation you were dealing with you don't even worry about it anymore because you just left out of an environment that says, you know what, just live. So, yeah, I love it. So, speaking of seeing the guests as your family, mm -hmm. this is one of the, so, so the questions that we're coming up with, it was, it was a group effort. We have, you're not going to see them, but we have a production team here, and uh, we are making this a family event because this is a family cruise line. Yes. Do you ever get to bring family or friends on board? Do they get to come see you? Man, that's a good question. Before this entire pandemic, my family was here all the time <laughs> um, because I am a senior officer and I do have my own cabin. So I can just put my family in my cabin and they can just crash there and then I'll just sleep on the couch while they're in my room. Um, but yeah, we, I had my sister comes, my mom and dad comes to see me. Uh, it's like the whole family comes when they can. Like my sister come religiously. She's like, yeah, I'm on my way to come see you. I'm like, but I, but I just saw you a week ago. She's like, yeah, but I got the time. So I'm just like, yeah, so all, all my family and friends. I actually have a birthday cruise coming up in May and I've told all my friends they better be on this cruise or else they're done. You're gonna, yeah. I apologize in advance because you're going to have like cousins and second cousins coming out Third, of the world. Fourth, <laughs> everyone, everyone. And then when they found out my discount of cruise, like everybody's my cousin. Uh, but I tell you, having family on board is doing double the work because you got to entertain your family, entertain the guests, and then try to like have personal time. Like you are exhausted by the end of the cruise, but everyone's yeah. happy at the end of the day because I got to see my family. They got to enjoy the cruise. So but yeah, you're definitely going to put in work that week. And that's what it's all about. Yeah, it is. It really is. Yeah, that's what it's all about. So we see the effort that you put in out there and we swear you don't sleep. We're not sure it's part, we think it's part of your contract that I you don't I'm sleep. I'm a vampire. Yeah, I, I believe it. I tape holding my alias up every day like this, but yeah. So how do you keep up that energy level week in, week out? Because you see thousands of people every week and I know by the time I get to, to Friday, like it's Friday now on our cruise, I'm ready for a nap, I'm ready to go home because I've been going all week, but you got to do this all over again tomorrow like it was your first day on the cruise. At 6 a.m. we start. So how do you just physically, how do you do it? How do you keep up with it? Ooh, power naps are a magical thing here on ship life. Like <laughs> 20 minutes will feel like three hours in ship life. Um, but you know, I get my energy, my energy, I read off the crowd. Like they're like into it, like it, it wakes me up like, yo, they're ready to party. So it makes me go 10 times harder than normal. Like, there's, you know, I've been in Alaska where, you know, everyone's bedtime is 530 sometimes. Um, but yeah, it's definitely, it's an audience kind of thing. You read your audience and you can tell when they're ready to party, you just instantly wake up. But in between the day, I do get a little nap at time every now and then. So yeah, I've, I don't get off the ship as much anymore. You know, I've been here eight years, so I know sometimes if it's a port I've been to before, I'll sleep all day to be ready for the night. Because I know the night, everyone's going to be ready to party. So, I like, I'll sacrifice staying on board and just sleep all day. 
Well, I, I mean, I think there's that physical side, but then there's also that mental side mm. because, you know, you still have so much enthusiasm for the Cupid Shuffle, which yes. I'm sure you've done maybe a couple a times. A million three, times. Four, yeah, a million times. But you still have that same enthusiasm. So, like, mentally, how do you, how do, you do it? You know, I do. I, that's so funny you said that because I do have to take a mental check day just to, like, detox everything around me and just say, woo sometimes. Um, mentally, I, honestly, I just, I, I find myself outside. I'll walk the track just to clear my head. But in my head, I'm also still thinking about, okay, tonight we have a party. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna add? What are we gonna spice up? And then once all I got all that planned, I can just go smooth sailing from there. So yeah. Mentally, I tell you, it does take a toll on us sometimes because we're always thinking of ways to take it to the next level for everyone that's yeah. on board. Um, but when we see it and we accomplish it, it's just like, oh. so yeah, definitely. What's your fail favorite sail away song? Favorite sell away song. Mmm. Everybody loves a good wobble. Wobble is where it's at. But I personally love the conga line. Conga line is because you just, people, I don't care if they were sitting there eating a guy's burger and they see a line, everybody's just going to jump up and jump <laughs> in it. It doesn't matter. Like, it's amazing. So, yeah. So, if you, you mentioned how you feed off the energy of the crowd, mm -hmm. if you have one of those crowds that's not quite at that energy level that you, think they should be what's your go-to to get them involved have you ever cruised out of alaska i've done catch a can mm. so not a full alaska cruise yet but yeah you know that's just a demographic where you know the crowd just wants to read books and they just want to go to bed and take naps but as a cruise director you still got to give them that energy so you got to cater to your audience and you know and i found out like you know they might not be into the wobble or keep your shovel as much, but I will tell you, they're definitely into some 50s and 60s swinging music, and they will party all night long. It's this game, this uh, this career, is literally basing it off your audience. You have to pay attention to it, and you have to give them what they want. I I went into Alaska thinking, oh, everybody's gonna be wanting to party. <laughs> they were like, because mm -hmm. you get sun till like 11 o'clock yeah, at night. Yeah, it's really like you never you know, nights you all really days do. all all day. Um, but I tell you, there have been times when crowds are just like, oh, we're just here. But then it's our job to pull it out of them instead of being just here, to be in the moment and just have fun with everything that you do. So yeah, it's a challenge, and it's a challenge I'm willing to take. I love a good challenge. People say, oh, they're gonna be tired. They're not gonna want to do anything. <laughs> not with cooking. Everybody get up. So yeah, I let them make sure everybody's having a good time. For sure. So we work with a lot of first-time cruisers. Mm -hmm. What advice from your perspective, being a cruise director, seeing thousands of people we come through, mm -hmm. what advice do you have for, for people coming on to a cruise? For your first cruise, I'm going to suggest you get involved in everything possible. Um, I personally think when you are a first-time cruiser, sitting back watching, you're not gaining the true experience of cruising. Regardless of who you're with or who you're around, don't do it for anybody but yourself. Everyone gets so shallow, they're watching me. If you will go into it with the mindset of, I'm here by myself and nobody's around, and dive in, it'll be the best experience of your life. And I mean dive into it and have nowhere, and I've met some first-time cruisers who were just diving in. I'm like, wow, your energy level is off the chain. Like, how did you manage to get here? But The drink it, package might help yeah, with that exactly, a little bit. It, might, it really <laughs> might, but it's, it makes memories and it makes you go back to say, I remember my first cruise and where I was. First, you know, oh, I didn't do much. We just hung out in the cabin. Like, you can go to do that at home. Come on here, ready to go, ready to have fun and just let everything go. Guaranteed it'll be the best experience of your life. Fantastic. Um, Anything else you want to share about you or? Um, I'm Cookie from Montgomery, Alabama. Very rare that you see an American cruise director here on board. Um, so yeah, if you want to know if there are Americans, we're right here. We do work here. USA, um, USA, USA. Uh, what else? Other than that, I definitely encourage everyone to come back to sail with Lee. Come sail with me in Texas. I strongly encourage everyone to try every port there is. New Orleans, Miami, Alaska, uh, Los Angeles. Go everywhere. The biggest thing is what I'm trying to say is travel as much as you can because you only have one life. See the world while you can. Worry about everything else later. So, yeah. 
And traveling tends to bring things into perspective. They do. They really do. They really do. It brings family. Look at you. You got an amazing production team. Y'all are on a travel cruise, and look, y'all have a bond because the production team keeps laughing at noises in the background that are absolutely amazing, like they're laughing right now, and I love it because <laughs> they can't help it. <laughs> I love it. But yeah, that's what it does. It brings laughter to the soul, which is good for everybody. And if people want to find you, you're going to be on Carnival Breeze. Breeze. Or they can follow me on Facebook, Cruise Director Cookie. Cruise Director Cookie. So yeah. we will put a link to that into the description. Um, if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more videos, please subscribe to the video down below. You don't below. have a choice. It's not even a choice. You're going to subscribe to this channel because this family is going to show you the world and more every time they go on vacation. So definitely subscribe ASAP. Thank you. And we'd love to see your comments as well. And follow Cookie on Facebook. All right. Thank you. We love you.